Hello, Froggy here, and today we'll be taking a look at something interesting in the Abhorrent Imperative mission. This is only around for the next week, so I would check it out while you still can. So the first thing we're going to do is turn entirely away from the mission. I'm sure it'll be fine. Get to the command center so we can start the You can probably do this on any character pretty easily. I'll be sort of showing you a non-Titan specific path here. Just wanna jump back along the way you came. And I think you wanna jump from here over to the ledge before this. Maybe we can no, I guess direct didn't quite work. And I've used most of my jump. But I guess I might as well just show you here that using your Titan Stasis Super will give you enough hang time to recover most of your jump. So we can just uh, do a little bit of sword flying style hyped recovery there. You don't need a sword to get up this sort of a slant, but it does make it a whole lot faster, so. Especially with this eager edge sword. I'm just gonna get up here real quick. And what we're doing here is using an old deep stone crypt hole to get back into the previous part of the mission. It turns out that in this mission, as with every other use of this place, if we go to a zone that the mission does not expect us to be in, we can actually use our sparrows. It makes a lot of things more convenient. We're going to want to either die to the load here, or die after hitting the load without touching the ground to easily go back to the default, which Luckily for us, we'll be right back at the beginning. No box break required. Although we will be doing one in a little bit. And as you can see, we're right by the elevators and we can summon a sparrow. So if you just want to fly around the previous area with a sparrow, you can do that as well. In the exotic mission, you can summon a sparrow inside of the zone that has the bunkers. So when this eventually makes it to the playlist, we should still have access to sparrows. Hopefully anyways. So I don't quite remember if the skybox looked exactly like this in the exotic mission. But it does look kind of neat out here with all of these kind of sparkly clouds. So I thought that was worth taking a peek at before we lose access to this area for a while. I'm just gonna get back in the way we came. And there we go. And once we're out here, we can still summon sparrows. So this is the first time we've been able to summon sparrows in this part. And you may have noticed that these towers are no longer active. And just hang out here quite freely. And that means that it is pretty easy to get on top of this tower here. Kind of like you could do in the bunker zone in the previous video I made on this area. Let's go head over to the left bunker. The doors aren't open, so if you want to get inside, you will have to go out of map. But also, the main bunker doors aren't present. So you can just go out of map here. Very convenient. If you go farther in here, you will find yourself in a very foggy situation. Makes for quite a spooky environment. We'll be doing a sick box to 
get out of the box here. It's a nice kind of flat area you can drop a sparrow off of. Nebula Rose is already decent here. If you want a sync box guide, I'll give you a link to mine. We're using text chat to sync when to ride, so... That's always an option if you aren't using something like Discord. It's very easy to hit a death barrier out here, so... I would first make your way out to... One of these mountain surfaces. They're pretty much all solid, so... You can pretty much set a spawn point wherever you want. The reason we're coming out this way is... Salo and Foop found a very interesting dev texture out in the middle of nowhere. Takes a bit of flying to get to. But it is a... very interesting sight. Not often we find a dev texture this large. And here it is. Nice little checkerboard, unset, default texture sort of business. It's got a pretty nice skybox going on. And uh, looking out this way, you can kind of see the angle we came from. In case you want to fly out here on your own. The random footage of Sparrow flying with no context probably wouldn't have been a very good indicator. But yeah, it is a fairly large plane for what it is. Also, judging from how Salvo and Floop managed to locate it, it seems to be at around the coordinate zero zero. Anyways, I hope you get a chance to fly out here before the season ends. You'll still be able to visit this potentially when the mission comes back, but you'll have to infinite fly then. Unless Strand breaks everything.